Herod the king heard about these things because the name of Jesus had become well known. Some were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead, and this is why miraculous powers are at work through him. And others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others were saying, he is a prophet like one of the ancient prophets. But when Herod heard these rumors, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised to life. He said this because Herod himself had arranged to have John arrested and put in prison because of Herodias, the wife of Herod's brother Philip. Herod had married her. But John told Herod, it's against the law for you to marry your brother's wife. And so Herodias hit, had it in for John. She wanted to kill him, but she couldn't. This was because Herod respected John. He regarded him as a righteous and holy person, and so he protected him. John's words greatly confused Herod, yet he enjoyed listening to him. Finally, the time was right. It was on one of Herod's birthdays when he had prepared a feast for his high-ranking officials and military officers and Galilee's leading residents. Herod's daughter Herodias came in and danced, thrilling Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the young woman, Ask me whatever you wish, and I will give it to you. And then he swore to her, Whatever you ask, I will give to you, even as much as half my kingdom. She left the banquet hall and said to her mother, What should I ask for? John the Baptist's head, Herodias replied. Hurrying back to the ruler, she made her request. I want you to give me John the Baptist's head on a plate right this minute. And although the king was upset because of his solemn pledge and his guest, he didn't want to refuse her. So he ordered a guard to bring John's head. The guard went to the prison, cut off John's head, brought his head on a plate, and gave it to the young woman. And she gave it to her mother. When John's disciples heard what had happened, they came and they took his dead body and they laid it in a tomb. Let us pray.